You've noticed how much more your weekly grocery run is costing and how much more it costs to take your family out to eat. With gas prices hitting historic highs earlier this year and with housing and rent prices still high, how is that affecting Americans? Well, we check back in with Paul Isley at Grand Valley State to ask about food costs and your budget. And News 8's Emily Leonard on set now with more on that. Yeah, uh, he's always so interesting yeah. to talk to. Isley actually says the price increases start right at the beginning where our food is sourced. The price of seed has gone up. The price of land has gone up. The price of interest rates to buy a new tractor have gone up. So the cost of producing food has changed. Inflation in America is up, and it's affecting how we're putting food on the table. Paul Isley has followed economics in West Michigan closely for years. He says the volatility in the market, like the war in Ukraine, is a big factor. There's not as much cushion in the market, which has sent prices soaring. You were expecting it to be here, and it's here. Now you have to change what you're doing, change your purchases, uh, make adjustments, and that makes you feel bad. Isley explains there's a lot of psychology involved in how we spend our money. Paying more, buying less, and getting less than we have in the past makes us feel like we're struggling financially. Consumer confidence numbers are really, really low. I mean, they're, they're stunningly low given how good the balance sheets are for consumers. Consumers' balance sheets are really good right now, um, up and down. They have trillions of dollars of extra wealth now compared to what they had before the, uh, the pandemic. Isley says it's that extra wealth that's allowing people to continue buying even as the prices go up. Take going out to eat. Many people are making some modifications to where and what they order and when they go out, but they're still doing it because they couldn't during the pandemic. People are having to make a decision. Do you, do you buy one beer or two beers when you're going out to eat now? Do you, do you get dessert? Do you get an appetizer? Stimulus checks, housing values, and because the stock market didn't crash during the pandemic, they all have a Americans overall sitting pretty comfortably, according to the numbers. People have money, all right? Not everybody, but on average, they have more money than they had going into the pandemic. Isley says the higher food prices are going to be long lasting, again, because the cost to produce that food has gone up. Yeah, yeah he raises some great points yes, there he about does. the complexities behind all of this. And how it makes us feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. It's the adjustments yes. that have to be made. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Emily, thank you.